Hey guys, Mr. Dobrens here. This video is going to show you how to use a one, two, three block to manually set the tool offset, uh, which is basically the Z zero for our workpiece here. So the first thing we need to do with this machine is jog to our piece of stock. Remember when you get close to the edge, uh, toggle the jog speed to medium and slow. Okay. I actually have to take this dust shoe off first. And make sure I can get it in the screen here. So our dust shoe is magnetic, the bottom half is. So if we just give that a little bit of a yank, that'll come off. We can set that aside. And now we can access the cutting bit and the collet right under here. So I'm going to jog that slowly to our workpiece. I wanna go right over the middle of it. I'm gonna bring my Z down. And what I'm shooting for here is to get the Z height of the cutting bit just slightly below this one inch uh, height or thickness of our one, two, three block. Now what I can also do is I can set my one, two, three block here, but it's really, really important. Do not put your block underneath the cutter when you're going down. It is going to break the cutter at the best and at the worst, it's gonna damage something. So please make sure that you set this to the side. Now we wanna to toggle this to slow. We want to bring our Z down, and it actually helps to kind of bend down and get at the level of the one, two, three block, and make sure that you get the bit just below it. So what I'm looking for is I don't want to be able to slide this under at this point. This is kind of what I'm trying to do. All right, now very, very gently touch and make sure that you cannot slide the one, two, three block underneath the bit, which I cannot. So this is a really good starting point. Um, it's also very helpful to make sure that your piece of stock is nice and flat. If there are ripples, waves, or anything else, then you should probably flatten that piece before you start doing the Z offset. Or you could end up with differences in height. Maybe you won't cut through the whole thing at the distance you want. Um, that is another important part of this. All right, so now that, I, that I'm at this point where my one, two, three block uh, the thickness of my one, two, three block is greater than the height between my cutting bit tip and the piece. Now I can really start the zero process. So what I want to do is I want to very, very slowly make sure you're on slow here for the jog speed. I want to just tap that guy up. I want to tap my Z height up and you can see from the digital readout of 0.356, which was at 0.351, the machine went up five thousandths of an inch. Now, if we were working with a more precise, um, you know, metal CNC router, a Haas, something of that effect, then we would want to go up one thousandth at a time, and the machine would have options to do that. But for the wood router, five thousandths is actually um, pretty good. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to alternate between tapping the Z height up in five thousandths increments and checking to see if my one, two, three block will slide underneath the cutting bit. What I'm looking for is that one point where it actually slides underneath. That is where I'm going to set my zero. And I'm almost there. Probably just a few more of these, perfect. So this is my Z offset. This cutting tip is effectively exactly one inch above this material. Since I know that, I can program that into the machine. And I'm even at the point where I can feel a slight drag on the cutting bit on the top of this. So this is really a perfect zero. So now to set zero into the machine, what I'm telling the machine is this Z height that we have now, exactly where the machine is, is our tool offset or our um, Z zero. So let me go back there. So I'm gonna click the digital readout numbers. I'm gonna click set. Do not click move unless you want to move the machine there. We want to set the Z axis and it gives you a warning. You're about to change the axis height. So make sure this is what you want to do. And since this is the process that we're following, it is click setup. or excuse me, I digress. Okay. So we know this cutting bit is exactly one inch above the stock. So I'm going to enter 1.0 and I'm going to click set. And what it's going to do is it's going to change that 0.399 inches where it thinks it's at just based upon where we started up the machine with one inch. So now that Z axis is correct. I would then need to make sure that I am zeroed for X and Y based on where I want to start my program, uh, but that will be covered in a subsequent video. So remember one more time, 
we know our height is one inch because that is the height of the one, two, three block. We enter one inch into the DRO and we set it. So basically we're telling the machine that it's at this height. There are also times where we would want to use that to fool the machine into thinking we're at a height that we're really not, especially when we want to test a program by doing an air cut or something like that. But that is also going to be on a subsequent video.